Even by my standards, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. If you follow me on Twitter, you likely already know I recently had Covid, which was kind enough to put some blood clots in my lungs. This put me in hospital for a few days, and resulted in a period where I wasn't exactly talking all that much. Now I'm on my road to recovery, and I've just undergone a second CT scan, which should tell my doctors the state of my lungs. Effectively this works by having a contrast dye injected into you while the CT machine takes narrow x-ray pictures up and down your body, slice by slice. Your body is not a fan of the dye, so it feels like a hot flush running through your veins as it's pumped through to your bladder, making it feel like you're instantly going to piss yourself. This isn't exactly pleasant, but it's also over quite quickly, and I was amazed to find out this resulted in about 2,800 images. These images can be used to form a cool animation, which is nice and all, but since when was I into 2D? So to take my mind off the horror show of what's happening in my lungs right now, I decided to make a video about what's happening inside my lungs right now. It may sound odd, but I found it cathartic to turn something existentially terrifying into something purely logical, so really I see this as part of my healing process. As for the how, it's really quite simple. Every image is just a two-dimensional array of pixels, each one containing colour data, which you can think of as a value between 0 and 1, determining how black or white it is. You can then just iterate every pixel on the x and y axis of the image, and create a vertex representing this pixel in 3D space on the x and z axis. The vertex colour attribute can be used to assign the pixel colour, and there's your 2D image, visualised as a flat 3D point cloud. But instead of doing it for one image, you do it for all of the images, and increment the y axis position each time. For my biggest scan, this means taking a 512 pixel square image and multiplying it by a height of 800 images. This is 209 million vertices, which even my admittedly staunch PC struggles to render at a decent frame rate. But really we don't need to see all of those vertices all at once. So we drop any pixels that are pure black to begin with, as these are essentially void space, and then I wrote a shader that allows me to discard vertices that are outside the range of a given colour value. This colour value I sample from a colour ramp so it can handle more than just black and white, and allows me to set how much within a range of colours I am interested in. For example, if I set it to 50% grey, it could return all vertices with a colour value of 0.45 to 0.55. This then gives me a slider to essentially slice through my body, kind of like how the CT machine looks at me. Ultimately, this was all just a bit of fun to kill a morning, as it's not all that efficient to do it this way. If I wanted to give it some serious clout, I'd write a compute shader marching cube implementation, and that way actually render a volumetric mesh, but I doubt I'll bother, as this was fun enough. Anyway, thanks for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe as you wish. I've talked enough for today, so I'll just let whatever's left of this video play out. Thanks.